Welcome back everyone, here at Alpha Finance we're all about finding excess returns in the market and growing our wealth. Since time is money, I'll get right into it. Today, I'm going to be talking about Jivo Incorporated, a renewable chemicals and advanced biofuels company that develops bio-based alternatives to petroleum-based products. I'll give a quick overview of what I'll be talking about, and there will be timestamps in the description in case you want to watch ahead. However, I recommend watching the entire video to get a great overview of the company. I'm going to start off giving some background on the company and examine what's been leading up to this stock price surge over the last couple weeks. I'll discuss the purchase of land in South Dakota and how that relates to their plans for the Net Zero One venture, as well as how the recent share issuance incorporates with all of this. I'll also add in some research on the biofuels industry as a whole throughout. If any of this sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you get alerted when my next video comes out. Let's dive right in. Jivo Inc. operates a renewables fuels company. It commercializes gasoline, jet fuel, and diesel fuel to achieve zero carbon emissions. The company uses low carbon, renewable resource-based carbohydrates as raw materials and is developing renewable electricity and renewable natural gas for use in production. Jivo has a unique approach to renewable energy. The company takes crops like corn and transforms them into conventional fuels such as premium gasoline, aviation fuel, and diesel. And where it differentiates itself from other companies, unlike electric vehicles, Jivo's technology has the potential to significantly reduce emissions in existing vehicles. Whereas companies like Neo and Tesla are looking to change the vehicles overall, making them electric, Jivo is looking to change the actual fuel that goes into current vehicles to make them have lower carbon emissions. So I want to dive into some recent core events that have happened surrounding Jivo that help explain how this stock has run up so significantly. So on December 21st, 2020, Jivo announced that it had used the option to purchase approximately 239 acres of land near Lake Preston, South Dakota. So the reason the purchase of this land is really important is that Jivo has recently announced their new venture concept called Net Zero Projects. And the concept of these Net Zero Projects is to convert renewable energy sources such as wind or biogas into liquid hydrocarbons that will be able to be used in traditional engines. And with this, they're not only targeting cars and trucks, but they're also targeting aviation. And what's exciting about this Lake Preston purchase is that Jivo's recently announced that that Lake Preston area will be the first of their net zero projects, which will be called, quote, net zero one. And on top of this, recent estimates that came out of the company on what Lake Preston will be able to produce in the coming years is approximately 45 million gallons per year of jet fuel and renewable gasoline products. And the total capital cost for this first net zero project, net zero one, is projected to be about $700 million. And Jivo is currently working with the investment bank Citigroup to raise the necessary capital to fund this venture. So this news is really exciting because not only is it a great growth opportunity for the company, but it also shows that they plan ahead very well and are looking to expand with this being only the first of their net zero projects, with likely more to come. And what makes all of this more exciting is the fact that the Biden administration will be supporting companies like Jivo in these ventures, and perhaps they might even increase subsidies to the industry. So another thing on top of this I want to talk about is the recent fall in stock price of about 20%. And the main reason for this is that the company raised approximately $350 million from the equity markets through a stock offering. And typically this is done by companies when they have such a run-up like this because it's the perfect opportunity for a firm to issue more shares at these much higher prices and gain money from that too. For instance, fund things such as the Net Zero One project. So although in the short term the stock price pulled back because of this equity issuance, in the long run, I actually think it will be a really good thing for Jivo as they'll be able to use this extra cash to fund their ventures. I mean, just from this, 350 million is approximately half of the entire capital cost of what the Net Zero One project is expected to be. So that's a big win for the company. Typically with financial theory, such as the pecking order theory, it's typically looked poorly on to issue equity and as a negative sign in the markets. However, in a young company like Jivo, with exciting growth prospects, I actually think this was the right thing to do, and I think it will positively affect them going forward with this large sum of cash. One last thing I want to touch on isn't about Jivo specifically, but has massive implications for what could happen with the company going forward. Specifically, recently, Boeing has just committed that its new commercial aircraft will burn 100% sustainable fuel by 2030. And with sustainable fuel often being biofuels and renewable fuels, Jivo's in that industry that produces renewable fuels, this could be massive for the company. It really can't have been better timing that around the same time that Jivo announced that they're opening this new Net Zero One project, Boeing also announces that they're going to be swapping over to renewable fuels by 2030. So the demand will be there for the products that Jivo will be creating with these new ventures. 
Just to round up, I want to go over some info from the International Energy Agency that was released on sustainable development scenarios going forward to 2030, looking at biofuels consumption over the next 10 years. As visible on the charts on the screen now, it's clear that aviation as a whole and real freight will become a larger proportion of the biofuels industry over time. And for this specifically, it's a really exciting opportunity for Jibo to expand into producing aviation fuels. The technology really isn't quite there yet to be putting it into jet fuel, however I can see it coming up very soon. If you take anything from this video, I want it to be the next three things. First, Jivo is actively looking to expand in an industry that's growing, using both debt from banks and equity issuances to raise funds and capital to form their ventures. Second, more and more companies like Boeing are starting to turn to biofuels to lower their carbon emissions and reach their emissions targets. And third, we're still quite far off reaching the goals set in the sustainable development scenario by 2030, so it would not be surprising if governments, especially something like the Biden administration, subsidized industries such as the biofuel industry specifically to meet those targets. Considering these three things, I think Jivo is a really exciting stock going forward. However, I do want to emphasize that companies like Jivo are a double-edged sword. First, they could have massive growth if something like the Net Zero projects do take off and they're able to find the right funding and they're able to find consumers for those products. On the other hand, if it doesn't take off, that could be it done for the company and it could just go bankrupt. It is important to remember that Jivo is an early stage clinical company and it could go either way. So I wouldn't throw your whole life savings into this. After all, Jivo stock could go to the moon or it could go to zero. Therefore, it's always important to consider your own unique financial position before making any investments. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes and not personalized investment advice. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button, subscribe, and turn notifications on. See you next time.